Welcome to HS Academy. In today's video, we are going to discuss about what is the meaning of process safety management and some basic concepts of process safety management. Okay guys, so first of all, we need to have a basic understanding actually what is the difference between personal safety and process safety. Okay, because generally when we talk about process safety, you know, so generally all the students are relating process safety with personal safety, but we should have understanding difference between personal safety and process safety, then only it will be effective for us. First of all, when we talk about the personal safety guys, so personal safety is available everywhere. So whatever the course you have studied, doesn't matter your BTEC, uh, your one year diploma, your three years BSc, it is totally based upon personal safety. What we have studied in personal safety, we need to protect one worker from the hazards that is present in a workplace. Okay, by implementing straightforward control measures. Straightforward in the sense, what we have studied, give them PPEs, develop safe systems of work, provide them training. These are the straightforward control measures. Okay, the main aim of the personal safety is to protect the workers. Okay, to protect only the workers. Now, when we come to the process safety guys, it particular process safety management have two main aims. Okay, first of all, protection of workers, that is the ultimate aim. Second, protect the plants equipments as well as release of the hazardous chemicals into the environment. So that is the basic difference between personal safety and process safety and generally, within the process safety, whatever the control measures you are getting, okay, these are highly technical. So you don't, don't think like that, uh, we will get the control measure directly, we will implement. You need a combination of persons to implement such control measures. Okay, so in the upcoming section, I'll tell you what is the perfect definition of a process safety. Okay, that is the basically distinction between process safety and personal safety. Okay, generally process safety focuses on a group of people. Recently, you have heard the news that uh, there was a gas leak in Vishakapatnam. Okay, this was one of the failure of process safety. And that is the reason why we are giving more importance to process safety. If personal safety is failed, only one or two persons will die in a workplace. If process safety fails, a lot of persons will die. One of the best example is Bhopal gas tragedy. That is one of the process safety failure. That's why a lot of people die. And after that, a lot of regulations come into the place. And that's why in today's world, we are giving more importance to the process safety. Okay, so that is the difference between personal safety and process safety. I hope it's clear to you. Now, second is definition of process safety. Actually, if we want to explain that, I told you some points now. Now, if you want to simplify that, how you can convey this definition? So definition is very simple. Process safety. What is that? Process safety is a combination or it is a blend of engineering as well as management practices. It means when you are going through the process safety subject, no, you will find a lot of technical subjects, technical topics, as well as management theories. Okay, so process safety management is a combination, is a blend of engineering as well as management practices, which is focused, which have the aim to prevent the release of HHC. What is that HHC, highly hazardous chemicals from a process plant? That is the main aim of process safety. Okay, so it is a blend of management and engineering principles which is focused which is implemented to prevent the release of hhcs highly hazardous chemicals i hope definition you are clear with the definition and generally guys as i previously told you process safety under the process safety there are two main elements are there not that elements that that are different okay it means two major fields are there that is called systems and functional safety okay for that it is different you can check out the video in the channel already available okay second third is our objectives and targets it means why we need to implement process safety what is the reason or if we are implementing the process safety what will be the targets of that see one important target only one important target is there of implementation of process safety to release to avoid the release of hscs now i will give you one example within your home you are using lpg lpg cylinder you are using for cooking food now when the lpg cylinder is safe Okay, no gas is releasing from LPG cylinder. Is it good? Or when the particular gas is releasing from LPG cylinder, that situation will be good. First situation, when the LPG, flammable LPG gas is not releasing. Okay, so the same concept applicable to there. When the chemicals are safely stored in a process plant, in a process facility, that will be good. Nobody wants that these particular highly hazardous chemicals, highly hazardous natural gases should come outside and cause and result in catastrophic events. Okay, so that is the main target by implementing both management and engineering pra uh, practices, we need to avoid the release of such chemicals because if these chemicals releases in the environment, they will result in a catastrophic event. Best example, Bhopal gas tragedy. 
methylisocyanate released how much death was there you already know okay re recently in Vishakapatnam you all already know the images what type of images we have seen in the TV why because a gas styrene gas was released from there okay that is the reason why we are implementing process safety I hope it's clear to you now one standard is there very important standard that is called OSHA 29 CFR 1910.119 what is that OSHA 29 CFR 1910.119 okay OSHA Occupation Safety and Health Administration 29 Code of Federal Regulation and this is the basically standard. Now this is a standard which name is Process Safety Management of Highly Hazardous Chemicals. What is that? Process Safety Management of Highly Hazardous Chemicals. So this particular standard if you are following, if you are applying means it will make sure that all the particular chemicals are safely stored and you are complying with the regulation. That is your Process Safety Management Regulation. Basically it is one of the regulation now. If we are implementing something means it will come under regulation only okay now the next thing is like that when we talk about the process safety management though, under that as actually 14 elements are there what is that 14 elements like employee training employee participation mechanical integrity okay these type of 14 elements are there so if you want to know about these elements how they are implemented and what are actually that so I will put the link in the I button you can check out that already before two to three months I have taken a specifically focused webinar on that so it's around uh, one and a half hour you can check out that webinar I'll put the link in the I button okay so if you are able to implement these particular 14 elements of the PSM then it will make sure that your process safety management compliance is being fulfilled okay there will be very very small risk will be there in your company and there is a more probability there's no chemical will come outside from your company no releases will be there okay so that is the purpose of basically these 14 elements these are separate separate elements okay Next is guys, last one is diversity in process safety. What is that diversity in process safety? So generally process safety is good, but when we move to the different sort of industries, okay, generally the name changes of process safety. For example, when you will study Nebosch IOG, okay, at the time they will use a very frequent word that is called hydrocarbon process safety. What is that? Hydrocarbon process safety. Okay, when you go to the chemical industry, they will use one word chemical process safety. What is that? Chemical process safety. When you go to the pharmaceutical industry, pharmaceutical process safety. Okay, but don't confuse about these words. These, the purpose, the aim, the elements are gonna be same. But whenever we are implementing these, as per the industry, as per different industry, the little bit process change will be there. Because every industry is running different processes and different processes require different type of chemicals and different type of agents. Okay, but the purpose and the aim is gonna be same, elements are gonna be same. Okay, so multiple times you will hear that words like hydrocarbon process safety and such other words. So don't get confused, these all are the same. So guys, these are the five points. I hope you got some basic understanding about process safety. What is the meaning of process safety and why we are implementing that. Okay, so if you have further doubts, you can drop in the comment box. I'll give you answer as soon as possible. And as well as whatever the doubts you have, you can drop them in the comment box. Okay, so thank you for watching. Meet you in the next video. Till then, take care.